Right, so this is a, a brief demonstration of um, a VT320 um, hooked up to a Deck Server 90TL, which is a, a serial line server. Um, if I turn the terminal on, it goes through a, a set of self checks and uh, then comes up with a firmware OK screen. Um, there's a wait light comes on the keyboard for a second and then uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in to the setup um, which is press F3 which is the setup button and just go through and change the board default board rate um, I tried this demonstration at 300 but uh, it takes an eternity to download the soft font from APL uh, so we're going to set that um, back to the directory uh, save and exit. Okay, so the um, the 90TL does uh, auto speed negotiation, and in order to get it to do it, you have to hit uh, enter a couple of times. So there we go. So that's the prompt you get from the TL. Um, so we log into that. Now this is an interface out through a thin wire Ethernet um, to any uh, LAT servers that. Um, are serving up themselves on the uh, ThinWire Ethernet. So if I do show services, you can see what's available. So there's a couple of boxes available. Um, what we're going to do is log into ORAC. So we connect to ORAC, which is a uh, VAC station 4090 um, running OpenVLS. So uh, I'll just type in my login details. There we go, right, and then we're at the, uh, the VMS dollar prompt. So APL is uh, started using the APL command. We tell it we're connected to VT320. And now what's, what it's going to do is the uh, VAC station is going to download the APL font um, into the terminal as a soft font. Um, that takes quite a long time at 300 board. Um, there's a noticeable pause there. And then there we go, we get um, the uh, APL startups information. Um, so, in order to show the character set, we can use uh, quad AV, which is just print out all the characters. And the terminal um, complains a bit because it's sending control characters to start with. And then you can see at the bottom of the screen um, various APL characters. The various characters that make it up the APL font and what I can do is I'll zoom in a bit on that just to show you um, what they're like in focus so you can see um, from left to right there's some pretty funky ones at the bottom which are basically a quad with um, just gonna let me zoom in that far. Nearly there. That's it. Uh, like Domino, which is a quad and a colon, uh, various others. So just scroll through those to give you an idea. So and they've been defined by this soft font which has been downloaded into the VT320. And the problem with running this kind of thing is that uh, most terminal emulators just completely bulk um, at soft fonts. It's just something that obviously wasn't a massive requirement and therefore never really uh, was a feature that required uh, any, any input. There's one by Foxit Software, um, I can't remember the name of the terminal, but that actually does it. But it intermixes the um, seven by whatever characters with a standard f font, which looks a bit daft. Right. So um, the other interesting thing about APL uh, on the Vax and and on other implementations is that you can't um, you can't type all the available APL characters directly from the keyboard. So what you have to do is you have to do a compose sequence um, 
and the APL manual gives you an uh, all the possible compose sequences. So I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. So for example, if I do Shift G um, and Shift M, I get those two characters. Um, what I want is uh, those two combined. So I do Control D, Shift G, Shift M, and it gives me the uh, the combined character grade down. I think that is. Um, if I give you another example, um, if you want a, a squish quad, which is uh, a small box, you have to combine two uh, square brackets like that. So again, Control D, and you get your squish quad. Um, one more example, for example, an I bar, which is just looks like a capital R I, is combined, uh, is composed with those two characters combined. So the Control D, uh, and you get your I bar, uh, and that's basically the way it works. So um, it's interactive, so we can uh, type in uh, commands in it directly, it gives us a result, or we can assign um, the result of an expression to a variable and then print out the variable uh, you can define functions and all sorts. Um, I'll just show you the keyboard get this, move this over here this is a uh, very much a homemade keyboard um, download, I bought some stickers from Hoolian um, just if I just tilt that forward a bit so, for instance, we were talking about Shift G earlier. There's your G with your upside down triangle on. Um, so the dark characters are the characters that form the APL um, character set, which is used when um, you enter APL. And then on the left are the characters that you uh, use normally on the normal keyboard. So I'll just give you. Quick scan, and this is just these have just come straight out of the manual. Printed them out on some laser transparency paper, um, and then you use the Hoolian kit to uh, put a label on top of the key, and then uh, your laser transparency, which is silver adhesive, goes on top of that, and then uh, a key cap, which has uh, got slight texture to it, so it's not sticky, goes on top of that. There we go.